Hey folks, Seymour Safety here. I'm going to show you a brief animation on electrical safety in which a worker died while on the job. It is important to note that this short video is a recreation from a true story, as depicted in an OSHA fatal fact accident report. I'm pretty confident these workers were not fully aware of the hazards they faced on the job site. Let's take a look, shall we? Two employees were installing aluminum siding on a farmhouse when it became necessary to remove a 36-foot-high metal pole CB antenna. One employee stood on a metal pickboard between two ladders and unfastened the antenna at the top of the house. The other employee, who was standing on the ground, took the antenna to lay it down in the yard. The antenna made electrical contact with a 7200 volt power transmission line 30 feet 10 inches from the house and 23 feet 9 inches above the ground. The employee handling the antenna received a fatal shock and the other employee a minor shock. Very tragic situation here. Following its investigation, OSHA issued one citation for two serious violations of its construction standards. Had these standards been adhered to, this fatality might have been prevented. So how do you protect workers in this type of situation? First, remember that OSHA requires employers to train their employees to recognize and avoid electrical hazards. And workers should always be aware and extremely cautious when working near power lines. Employers must not permit employees to work near any part of an electrical power circuit which might be contacted in the course of their work. And lastly, all electrical power circuits must be guarded against accidental contact by insulating the circuit, de-energizing it, or by other effective means that would protect the employees. Stay safe out there!